I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. We're coming to you from the end of the Sitcom Waterway, home to the Port of Tacoma's administration building. Plans are taking shape for a new port business center closer to downtown Tacoma. The Port Maritime Center is planned along the Foss Waterway. It's a partnership with Tacoma Public Schools, which plans to build a skills center called Maritime 253 in a neighboring building. Maritime 253 will teach South Sound High School students skills that can lead to careers in the trades and the maritime industry. Before construction can start, the site must be ready. The port's remediation experts are overseeing extensive soil sampling of the property, which was once home to the Wheeler Osgood Company door mill. They'll cut it open, they'll log the hole, what kind of soil is it, is it sand, silt. Architects are working on conceptual designs for the building and information on the project can be found at portmaritimecenter.com. The port is planning to hold the next public open house for the project in early May. Details are coming soon. Developing the workforce of the future isn't just happening on land. The port provided money to the Youth Marine Foundation to help bring its new training vessel, the Doolin Rogers, into regulatory compliance. We rode along as Tacoma High School students joined a voyage focused on marine science. They lowered a camera underwater and took samples from the seafloor. This type of field work is one of my dream jobs. I'm stoked, man. It's so cool. I want to be a marine biologist. Uh, one of the pillars of our strategic plan, our five-year strategic plan, is investments in workforce development. We know that we need to take a leadership role in creating the workforce of the future for the maritime industry. At portoftacoma.com, you can watch our in-depth story about the educational work aboard the Doolin Rogers. Also on our site, in honor of Women's History Month, you can see our 2023 video featuring trailblazing women longshore workers in Tacoma. To find out when we post new stories, join us on social media. Washington Senator Patty Murray, who serves as Senate President Pro Tem, visited the port in February to learn about the green energy transition. The Northwest Seaport Alliance is overseeing installation of shore power at Husky Terminal and is working to develop a green shipping corridor to Asia and support the switch to zero emission trucks. Senator Murray highlighted investments from the bipartisan infrastructure law and the Inflation Reduction Act. Forever in my career, I've always been a um, believer in ports and their critical part to our economy. And, and most people don't go to the grocery store and think, where did these come in from? <laughs> I do. The port recently bought new EVs for its fleet and electric container moving equipment is already in use. Commissioners voted last year to accelerate the target by a decade for reaching net zero greenhouse gas emissions under the port's direct control. The Port of Tacoma Commission meets at least once a month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. To receive agendas by email, sign up at portoftacoma.com for our monthly newsletter, Peerside. Meetings begin at noon and public comment is always welcome. New numbers show the Northwest Seaport Alliance's auto import business jumped 96% in 2023. Imports of cars to the Tacoma Harbor were fueled by new General Motors business, coupled with more Kias and Hyundais coming into the gateway. Auto manufacturing has jumped since COVID, with pent-up demand from car buyers. A planting project that's the first of its kind in the state is happening at the Port of Tacoma. Scientists from Washington State University are planting what are called sentinel trees and shrubs on port property at the Fabulage Center. The sentinel plants will be closely watched by scientists and volunteers for signs of invasive species that might arrive at the port. The idea is to detect any invasive pests or diseases before they can impact Washington farms. These are the first sentinel plantings at a port in Washington. 
Finally this month, the port sponsored a big celebration in the Tacoma Dome Exhibition Hall. The Asia Pacific Cultural Center held its 26th annual Lunar New Year celebration featuring Taiwan. The free family event included lots of activities and live entertainment. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back in April with another edition of Working Waterfront.